Hey everyone, today I've got a haul video and it's quite a lot of things to fit in it and I was just thinking, I don't know whether you prefer me to do little haul videos as and when I buy things or collect them all together like I've done now and do a big one because um, that's what I've always done but I'm not sure how you prefer that so if you prefer it the other way just leave us a comment below but for now I'm just going to talk about all the things I've bought recently which has kind of been since um, a few weeks before Christmas up until like today so yeah I'll just get into it. Firstly I'll just talk through some drugstore kind of beauty products I've got from Superdrug um, as I work there I get quite a good discount on it as well so it's kind of encouraged just to buy some more things. I really want to buy the Apocalypse um, lipstick things now um, but I probably will be buying them in the next few weeks but these are just some of the things I bought recently. The first thing I've got is this nude eyeliner from Rimmel, it's one of the scandalised um, range and you've probably seen it all over the blogs anyway. But yeah, it's just a nude eyeliner which I use in my waterline. I've never had one before because I've never wanted a white one because I thought it was a bit too harsh and this was just the perfect one and it's so creamy and really nice and a really nice formula so I'm really glad I picked that up. Also, I'm sorry if you think my hair is a bit of a mess. I haven't really done much with it. I just sat down and filmed so that's the reason for that. The next thing I've got is a Revlon Just Bit and Kissable Balm Stain. Um, the right is all worn off already and I haven't really had this that long. And I've got the colour 5 Crush and I've used this so much already. It's just the kind of perfect dark colour that I really like to go for in the winter. And I love that it's a stain. Like it goes on like lipstick and things. It's really nice and notion. But the stain lasts for so long, like much longer than a regular lipstick. And I've got loads of lipsticks in this kind of colour. But this is just the best formula ever for this kind of colour. So yeah, I'm not sure I'd really go for any of the other colours. This was just kind of the one that I really liked. But I will check them out. But this is just amazing, especially for this colour. The next is a blush, and I'm not sure if I've mentioned this before, Brits, and this is Rimmel Santa Rose blush, and it looks like this. Um, it's just kind of a very basic colour, but I have used this a lot this month already, um, when I can open it. It's just this kind of peachy colour, um, and I really like it. It's just a really nice natural blush. It'll go with any lip colour, any eye colour, and yeah, I just think it's really pretty and really cheap, and I like how small it is, because I never really need a big blush, because I don't really go through them too quick. So yeah, these just perfect little compact sizes are good for travelling as well. So yeah, really like this. But the last kind of drugstore product is the Maybelline Dream Fresh BB Cream. Um, it looks like this, which I think is one of the nicer packagings for the BB Creams. And I don't know, I think that's probably the only reason I got drawn to it was the big pink letters. Um, but I've just wanted to try one for ages, just for like a kind of lighter coverage and a foundation. And most days I've been reaching for this. So... Yeah, I do really like it and I can't really fault it. Next I've got a few MAC bits that I'll just quickly mention. Um, I finally finished my MAC palette, which I know they've got better versions of palettes now, which I might have to invest in, but this is the old one. Um, and I'll just show you the ones that I bought. The first is Naked Lunch, which looks like this. Um, there's not much point in swatching them, I'll try, but um, yeah, it won't really work very well. But it's just this kind of champagne colour, which are the colours that I really go for, for all over the lid and for highlight and stuff. So yeah, I know I'm going to get a lot of use out of that. Next one I got is actually one I thought would be really good eyebrow colour, and I use it for eyeshadow as well. And it's Omega, which I've heard was really good for blonde eyebrows. And I haven't used it a day, but I have used it quite a few times. And I do really like it. And I also like it as kind of a crease colour, because it's just matte and just like a nice kind of defining shadow for your crease to make it really stand out so yeah I do like that one and it looks pretty boring but I think it'll be really useful and the last one is one that I've seen on a lot of YouTube videos as well and that's Smut. It's just kind of a dark plummy brownie colour. Um, I can't remember who said it but I think it might be Tanya Burr said it was like the Kate Moss colour and um, like the really inventive for her to try and get the Kate Moss smoky eye look so yeah that kind of appealed to us a bit and it's really really pretty and I will use it a lot. So now I've got a completely finished MAC palette which is really exciting. I might do a video just on this soon. And I couldn't resist putting my lipstick in my basket while I was at it. And the one I got was a Viva Glam 5 which looks pretty boring and a bit brown. But in real life when I put it on the lips it just looks so natural and just more polished than lip balm. So yeah this is just like a more polished version of my lip colour so I really like that. And then I got a few bits from the Feel Unique sale and I could have went absolutely wild with that sale but I kind of just stuck to a few bits and I'll just show you quickly. Um, they're all redkin bits actually and I just got the shampoo and conditioner for the Blonde Glam collection which I thought I'd give a go. I haven't tried any expensive shampoos before. Um, I've always just bought like Aussie or Pantene or something. So I thought I'll give these a go and I kind of just went all out. 
because um, they were quite cheap. And so I got the Blonde Glam pair. And I also got the Body Full Light Conditioner and Shampoo. Um, so these could be really nice for my fine hair and give it a bit of volume, hopefully. And the blonde will help bring out the blonde. So yeah, I hope that I love these and I will get back to you on what I think of them. And then the last few beauty things before I get on to kind of fashion stuff. Um, I made an order from Beauty Bay the other day and it just arrived this morning so I thought it was a perfect time to film this video and I'll just show you what I got. The first thing was the milkshake whipped cream, like kind of leave-in foamy conditioner um, and I haven't even finished the sample I got this. The sample I got from Glossy Box of this was probably about up to here in size wise and I'm still nowhere near finished that but when I got a student loan through I thought I've got to buy the full sizes because I loved it so much. Um, so yeah, it's the first time I've ever bought a full size of a Glossy Box sample that I've received like before I've even finished it. Um, so yes, yeah, there's definitely a winner with me and it smells amazing. If you need more smell this. It smells so good. It's not even that expensive. I think this was about £11 possibly. So yeah, I really like that. And then I got something to try to make my eyelashes grow a bit stronger and healthier and longer because they do fall out quite a lot, especially when I'm cleansing and try to take my eye makeup off. And then I end up with little gaps where like, there's a gap where I've got hardly any eyelashes and they don't go very long. So I thought I'd give something a try. And it's the Mavala Double Sills, no, Double Lash, I mean the French version, Mavala Double Lash, um, and it's just this little bottle. I haven't tried any of these yet, obviously, because they came a day, but it comes in this little white, it's like white cream, and it's got like a, a spoolie thing, and you just brush that through before you go to bed, and it's meant to make your lashes grow stronger and longer and healthier. Um, so obviously I don't know if that works, but I bought it and see how it goes. And next I just popped these in my basket while I was at it and it's the Shivata Lashes in the Florence style. Um, and they just look really pretty and yeah, I'm looking forward to trying them. And I also got some for my cuticles, which I've never done anything with my cuticles because the thought of pushing them back with an orange stick makes us feel a bit sick. Like, I don't like the thought of from completely pushing them off. Um, so I've got the Nails Ink Strip to use cuticle remover. Um, and I want to see how this works. Um, I haven't tried it, obviously I can't even tell you, but... Yeah, I bought it to try and do something about my cuticles. And then the last thing that I bought was this Too Faced Borderline Lip Pencil, which is like a kind of transparent lip pencil. I seen Michelle 1218, I think our username is, she got this and she said it worked. And I've never bought anything from Too Faced before, but this seemed like a really good idea. Um, and you, it's like, like completely transparent. And you put it around the edge of your lips and it kind of makes a border so that no lip products can like bleed so it's really good for like red lipstick or something where you don't want to end up on your skin this kind of stops it from moving from your lips which i think is a really good idea if it works so yeah i'm looking forward to giving that a go and that was all the beauty bits i got i'll move on to some clothes and things i got firstly i went online to boohoo and i got quite a few things the first was this dress again i'll put the prices somewhere um and this is coral dress with this black lace collar detail which I think was really nice um, and it's just kind of not bodycon but like figure hugging and it's just like cotton and soft so I think it's really nice I wear through the day with like tights and boots and a leather jacket or I could wear it through the night for a more casual kind of nighttime look but yeah probably more likely just wear this through the day you could get a grey version as well which I'm quite tempted to get even though I've already got this but I never really go for colourful things so I thought why not go for the coral version but yeah it's really nice and I will get a lot of wear out of that. Um, next is this dress that is dark red with this pattern on, which I thought was really nice. It looks really kind of red in the camera, but it's more like a dark berry raspberry colour. And again, it's just kind of form fitting and just nice. And yeah, I'll probably do the same with this more. I'll probably wear this one more on a night time, like more laid back night time look with me, leather jacket and tights. Or I could wear it through the day, kind of the same. Um, but yeah, that was really nice too. And then I got a more dressy dress from there. And this was, I think this was only like £15, so I was really impressed with it. It's black and it's got this kind of velvety pattern on, which you can see, but these feel like velvet and it's just really nice. Obviously it's ironed because it's been the iron pile. But the sleeves are kind of see-through, as you can see. Um, and then the pattern shows through. And I just thought this is really, really pretty. It's just totally my kind of thing. Again, it's kind of form-fitting with the nice long sleeves. So I can't wait to wear that. And then lastly from there, but as I say I've probably forgot something, is this sweatshirt and again I think this is gorgeous. It's bright pink, you could have got a grey one like with the other coral thing but I decided to go for the colourful thing for once. And at the top is all lace, which I know is probably quite delicate and probably going to get snagged easy. But I think it's just really pretty and it'll look really nice. 
um, and just more of a dressier version and a bit something different for through the day rather than just a standard jumper as I normally always wear. So yeah, I really like that. Moving on to ASOS, I got quite a few um, scarves and things. The first thing I got was this nude, which you can see here is like the Shailen kind of material, which I think is just so nice. Um, it's, it's so fluffy, but on the inside it's not like that. Um, it's just kind of like normal material. And you just like pop it around your neck and you're done. So yeah, I really like this. It's super soft. I just think it looks so cozy and warm for winter and I can't wait to wear it all the time. And I also got this other scarf, which is definitely more of a springtime scarf. Again, it's a snood, so you can pop it through in a circle like that. It's got this kind of floral pattern here, which is like kind of black and neon. Then it goes through like cream and black polka dots. But when you put it all together, it looks really nice. So I would generally wear it like this, kind of just wrapped around and just reorganise it a bit. And I just think it's really pretty, especially for spring, I could wear it with a denim jacket and just a light coloured vest or something. And I think it just gives a really nice touch without being like a big massive woolly scarf. I just think it's really pretty. Next to I've actually got a bag and I've had this bag in a different colour before. And it's lasted just really well for like quite a few years now. So I thought I'd get the black version. It's just this little black bag. I just think it's a really nice little black bag. And I know it looks a bit Chanel-esque, but a bit fake, but... I don't mind because I can't afford real Chanel and I like the handle that's got the kind of chain deal and yeah it's just really pretty I've got a nude version of this that I've had for ages and that's still going strong so I thought why not invest when I know it'll last us for ages and it's just a standard really nice black bag I then got a skirt which I thought was really pretty and it's just this little kind of skater skirt and it's black with little white hummingbirds on it which I don't know if you'll be able to see because again it's ironed but I think it's just really pretty you need to wear it with jumpers and tights and boots or in the summer. And I just think it's really nice and it wasn't very expensive either. I then got a jumper from the Vero, Vero Moda section, which I was wearing yesterday so it's a bit crumbled. It's just this kind of mauve nudie colour and it's just a jumper. But the middle bit is got a kind of lace overlay on it and the rest of it is kind of like angora wool so it's really soft. And I just thought that was really nice and a bit more sophisticated I could wear it with a lot of black and it would just look kind of chic and not too in your face or anything but just pretty so yeah I did like that when I wore it yesterday. Next I got a few jewellery bits which I'd never ever buy jewellery so this is really strange for me um, but I did get some from ASOS and first is this bracelet which has got little hearts on it I don't know how well I'll be able to show you but yeah it's just got these little hearts in a little chain which I thought was really pretty. And the next bracelet I got was Lions. It's like stretchy, but I think this is quite tight and I'm scared that the stretches are going to snap. So they're just like Lions heads, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, and the next one I got came in a little box. And it was this rose gold sideways cross necklace, which looks like that. Um, I've always wanted one of these sideways cross necklaces, but never actually got one. And then I saw this one in the sale and it was rose gold, so I thought... Why not? And I think that's just really pretty and delicate. I'm really into delicate necklaces, like really little ones. I'm not really a kind of statement necklace kind of person. So yeah, I normally just get little bits of jewellery. And the last one I got was from Google Philip, and I got that off ASOS too. And it's just this little blue heart on a gold chain, which I thought was really pretty and just delicate and would look nice with almost any outfit. So yeah, I'm excited to wear that. And lastly from ASOS I got something from River Island in the little section there and it was actually a bikini. I'm thinking the heck this one a bit too much I think. But yeah, it's just this bikini and it was really cheap. I think all together I came about £12 which is cheap for River Island bikinis. Um, and I don't normally buy River Island bikinis because I think they're a bit in your face. And this one is too but I just really liked it. It's the Oscar the Zebra version if you look for it on the website I think that's what it's called. And it's just kind of this one that I don't know describe anything but that goes around your neck. And then if it's like that, or you can take the strap off and it's like strapless. Um, and it's got this little zebra on, which I thought it might be a bit tacky, but I thought it was really cute and I really liked it. Um, and it's just kind of bright fuchsia pink and the bottoms are bright fuchsia pink to go with it. So yeah, I really liked that. Next I went to Warehouse and got a few bits from there as well. I got this bag, which it kind of might be a clutch bag, but when clutch bags have these handles, I always use them because I hate carrying around a clutch bag, so I always just pop that over my shoulder so I thought that was handy but yeah it's this clutch bag that's like studded and I thought it was just so pretty it's like grey and I don't know it's not real leather I don't think but it just feels like leather and I love all the different studs on it and it's just amazing 
Um, and then it's got quite a lot of space in it as well and a zippy compartment. Um, so I really love that. I know like Topshop and Zara and Primark and everywhere all have the same kind of studded bags but I just thought this was a bit of a different take on it and I think this will be more like popular in the future. Just like the trendy ones are around at the minute so yeah I love that bag. And I also got a scarf which is this pink and cream kind of leopard print snood. As you can tell I'm at me snoods at the minute because I've got three in the past two weeks but I'll just show you this one. There we go. I just think it's really nice and pretty and again we'll go with black leather jacket and everything else I wear really well. And yeah I just like the leopard print but I like that it's a different colour and it's not just like creamy and brownie leopard print. It's like pink so yeah it's nice. And lastly for clothes I went Miss Selfridge and I've got quite a few going out bits. Um, I might have showed you this one before because I got this one before Christmas. But it's this top which is lacy. I probably have shown this before actually. It's like nude underneath on the front and it's got like this kind of lacy pattern which I just think is really pretty. And it's just kind of like this and on the bottom half it's like spotty. I think I've definitely shown this before. And on the back there isn't really a line and it's just kind of see through. But again, I don't, I don't really mind that because I'll just wear like a black bra or something that still looks pretty. And yeah, I do love this and I have worn it already and I really like it. And I also picked up another top from there a few days ago and it's this cream one, which is kind of a similar concept in that it's cream underneath, but that was more peachy nude. This is cream underneath with like a black lace overlay, but it's peplum style. Um, this is the first peplum top I've got because I don't really like the ones that are like properly structured. I think they wouldn't suit us very well but um, this one I just think is really subtle and nice and it just kind of flows nicely. Um, and I love the lace detail on it, I just think it's really pretty. Um, and the back's the same. And it's just like, even the neckline is really flattering, like the sweetheart neckline. It's just, I don't know, it really looks nice on. So yeah, I love this top. And then lastly from there I got a dress which I'm going to wear at my best friend's 21st birthday party. It's got this lovely silky champagne coloured material underneath and it's got the little dotted kind of lacy overlay with this lovely detail around the neck which I like. And it does look like it's quite, I don't know, like not very figure hugging or flattering but when you pull it in with the tie backs on the back it goes a lot more cinched in like that and it looks really nice on. And I love that this goes down there. And it's all like pleated and it's just so pretty. It's just above knee length which I find is really flattering and I don't know it's quite appropriate for like a party where there's going to be like all my friends family and grandparents and stuff. It's not too slutty or anything I just think it's really just elegant and nice and I really like how the black lace hangs like this and I just think it's really pretty so yeah I do like that. The back is kind of as you can see like see through to there so yeah that's flattering as well and I just I'm really excited to wear it. But I had a similar dress that was a lot more strappy and went down really far at the back but that's what puts off that one was because it goes down really far at the back even though I really loved it um but I might justify buying that one for waiting for my birthday which is in September so yes yeah, really forward thinking. And then I made a few random purchases the first is a ring from Urban Outfitters and it's this heart shaped ring I'll put it on my finger to show you. Um, yeah, it's just this heart shape. I don't know if you can see, but the metal is kind of like ridged, like as if it's been twisted, which I think is really pretty. Apart from on here, there's a really sharp bit that um, caught on my clothes yesterday. So I'm not sure about how I'm going to wear it without ruining my clothes, but as you see, it's a really thin band. I'm not used to wearing rings, so a really nice little thin one was really good for me. I think it was about £6 as well. So yeah, I do really like that. And also from Urban Outfit, as I got two books. The first was Blog Ink, um, which is this book here. I've seen a few bloggers buy this and it seems quite interesting just to have a read through about blogging and blogging tips and stuff. Because my blog is seriously lacklustre at the minute. Like, all my photos are awful, I can't get my camera to work well, and so I'm not blogging as much, which I really love blogging. But I always feel like I can't just find writing a post when it's got rubbish photos that people are just going to look at and not even read the rest. So. Yeah, I just want a good camera, but, but yeah, maybe this will make us want a blog more anyway. And then I got another book from there called My Future Listography, which I love writing lists, so this seemed like a natural thing for me to buy. And you literally list things you want to do, like there's lists for all sorts. There's lists for the lives you want to lead if you've had nine lives, lists of classes you'd love to take, lists of things you want to accomplish, lists of cities you plan to visit, and just like pages, and all you do for each page is write a list of something um, for your future. So... I think that's a really nice idea, especially to look back on um, when you're older, which I think would be really cool. So yeah, I want to buy the just one that's called My Listography, which is just other things. 
and my love list of a few which I think is kind of cool too so yeah I really like the idea of these books and they're kind of this scratch material which is really nice I bought a few random DVDs which I thought I'd include I bought The Proposal with Sandra Bullock and Ryan Reynolds because I had this and then I lost it and it's one of my favourite films so yeah I bought that again can't wait to watch it and also I Love You Man which I've seen a million times but never actually on the DVD so I don't know why um, and this is really 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 funny so if you haven't seen it I'd recommend it and then last but not least I bought Gossip Girl Season 5 um, which I've been watching these in DVD box sets for almost a year now but I just got around to buying Season 5 I know who Gossip Girl is that was a real was and I'm really upset because I've got two whole seasons left to watch knowing who Gossip Girl is which is kind of upsetting but yeah I'm really excited to watch the rest of this so that's everything in my ridiculous haul um, I don't always spend this much it always happens just as my student loan comes in my bank, I go a bit crazy, but um, yeah, so hopefully there won't be too many hauls coming soon and more kind of shot my stash um, and Emily's videos um, instead of hauls. So yeah, thanks for watching everyone. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.